Hey everybody, uh, today we're looking at a Kenwood 2000X. The X stands for the 1.2 gigahertz module installed inside of the machine. Uh, you're also looking at an MFJ299 microphone. This is going to be for sale on eBay very soon. Let me go ahead and separate these two. Uh, the microphone, it works pretty good. It's got a little bit of a flaky press to talk. Uh, the lock works perfectly fine. Otherwise, everything's okay on it. Um, I got the cable that actually works on the Kenwood radio. Uh, this Kenwood radio over here is not for sale. I couldn't find the stock mic for this radio, so I figured I'd throw this in. Again, remember that the push to talk's a little flaky. Probably needs a little bit of cleaning fluid in there. The battery compartment is clean. Uh, the radio itself here is in nice shape. Let's get into the display here so you can take a look. Nice and bright. Okay, there's the buttons. Let's take a look at the VFO knob. Okay, the VFO knob's in nice shape, it's not worn down. Please forgive my creaky chair that I'm sitting in. Let's take, take a look at the side here, it's got the handle. Uh, uh, the top over here, it does have a few little scratches. I'm going to take some pictures. It's got some imperfections in the back. Otherwise, it is in one, sh it's in nice shape. It's in one piece. You do not get anything else you see in the picture. You just get the radio and you get yourself the MFJ microphone and you are going to get a power cord. Okay. So those are the three things you're going to get. I do, I have, I do not think I have the manual. Uh, I do not have the original box. This radio here was from a friend, a silent key, and I've had it for four years. The person he did get it from, um, they were smokers, so this has been smoked. My friend, the silent key, did not smoke. I do not smoke. I've had it for four years. It's working fine. The only thing I could say is it's missing the Kenwood uh, emblem up here. Okay, but besides that, it is in nice shape. Like I said, I'll take some pictures. Just being honest, First owner was was a smoker, second owner wasn't, third owner is not, which is me. Does have the 1.2 gig module in there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call out to my friend which is sitting out here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to test the radio out. We're on 146.52 here in Chicago on Simplex. W9MRB and 9 ssu Mike, are you out here? Hi, Mike. I'm recording the uh, Kenwood 2000X. I'm showing the audience that uh, the ra what the radio is all about. I'm also letting them know that you're waiting out there so we can test it out. And uh, how am I sounding? Obviously, you can hear me because re you replied back to me. Uh, sounds very good. Nice, full, clean audio. I don't have any trouble hearing you whatsoever. As you can see, I turned the preamp on and off. It was on. I'll keep it off so you can uh, hear. Hi, Mike. Sounds good. I showed him it's got the 1.2 gig module in it. Uh, unfortunately, here in Chicago, we don't have 1.2 gig machines anymore. They're all D-Star. And I have nobody to talk to Simplex anymore. And the reason I'm getting rid of the radio, because I got way too many HF radios. And I really got to thin out the herd. And uh, this came from our friend, uh, Silent Key. So... Mike, why don't we head over to uh, 10 meters so we can show that the HF works. And uh, it might take me a little bit of time to get there, so if you get there before me, just hang tight. Do you want to start on which mode, FM? Sure, we'll start on FM, then we'll go to AM, and then we'll do sideband. Uh, let's go to 29.even. Okay. I'll be 9 QSY N9SSU. So as you can see, he can hear me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go to the main band. I'm going to get out of VFO. <laughs> The radio is unlocked, to let you know. Okay, we're on 29. We're going to go to FM. And... Let's see if Mike's out here. W9MRB, N9SSU. W9MRB, what's up, Joe? Sound good here, too. About the same as where we were before. Okay, Mike is on a vertical, I'm on a horizontal, we're about 
probably about four miles apart from each other. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show them that the antenna tuner works, Mike. So why don't you hang on there for a second? Okay, so it does have a built-in antenna tuner. If you are familiar with these radios, you know that. Uh, you know, I'm in, my wire is pretty much centered on 10 meters, so it does work. You still here, Mike? I hear you. Yeah, I heard the antenna tuner go. So it works perfect. Awesome. Uh, people, you have to forgive me. I'm a little shaky on the camera here. I'm a little creaky today. Uh, the the uh, joints are hurting. Just going to blame it on old age. So, Mike, why don't we head over to AM and uh, test it out there, please? All right. Here we go. Okay, so there's AM right there. W9MRB and I know that's you. Okay, here we are. I don't know. It probably sounds a little bit different. Can you hear me okay? Here you great. Okay, I'm going to zoom in to the S meter again one more time to the display. And go ahead, Mike. All right. Uh, I tuned up, so I should, I'm probably a little bit out of tune with this antenna here, but, uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. I hear you. I hear you. Um, yeah, you know what, um, uh, yeah, your antenna's probably a little bit out of band there, but you're fine. Alright, let's go to sideband. Let's try, uh, lower sideband first. Okay. So, let's go to lower sideband. Go ahead, Mike. Maybe you want to tune me in first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got you. I just had to turn like maybe two notches and I got you. So we're locked right in. Good. I'm happy to hear that it is um, pretty much centered. You didn't have to tune a lot to get me tuned in. Appreciate it. Um, let's try upper sideband just so that works also. Okay, I didn't have to make any adjustments, so I appreciate it, Mike. Um, there's a lot of sun coming through the window, but people, if you see, the red transmit light does work. And when I unkey, right like that, the green light is yeah, on. Yeah, I didn't turn it at all, so we're both in sync, and I just had this radio looked at, so I know that one's good. You sound perfect right on frequency, and nice audio, very clear. Hopefully you hear me the same. Absolutely, Mike. I appreciate it. Yep, so these are beautiful radios, Swiss Army knife. Um, you have yourself a good antenna. You're going to be doing some talking. So, Mike, I really appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to wrap up the video and I'm uh, going to go from there. Yep, buy that radio. It's a good one. I've got one myself. I love it. All right, Bill. Talk to you later. Coming on, RB. And I know such you. Hi, everybody. So, that's the deal. Let me go ahead and turn this down. I, I do not do CW, so I can't show you CW. Uh, for the rest of you, you do know what this radio does. It does 100 watts on every band except 440. It does uh, 50 watts. Uh, on AM, it does 25. On 440, it does 12.5 on AM. Um, on uh, 1.2 gig, it does 10 watts on sideband, FM, and CW. It does 2.5 on AM. Um, if you're already looking at this, you know what this is all about. So I really don't have to go into detail. Um, again, I'm going to take some more. I'm going to take some pictures to show some of the imperfections. You know, um, for its age, it's in nice shape. Okay, it transmits. It works. Why am I selling it? I'm selling it because I just have way too many radios. And the MFJ microphone, like I said, as you can see, it's picking up audio. It works. The push to talk's a little flaky. I use the lock button when I went on key. I go on and I key using the press to talk. This is a freebie because I can't find the stock mic. The radio will be sold as is, parts only, for the mere fact that it's old. For the mere fact that the microphone doesn't work right because it's missing this. And also because it came from a smoker home. But as you can see, it does work. So, any questions, please uh, go ahead and write me on the auction. And for everybody else on YouTube, I hope you appreciate the video. Thank you.